Gavin Nick from Virgineers uh, on tour. So I'm actually, <clears throat> at the time of speaking, we're in Glastonbury in uh, a holiday let. Uh, and this is a local brewery, so Glastonbury Voodoo, which is a 4.8 session IPA. Okay, so it's pretty... Uh, Session normally top out in my experience at like four four point two percent, but it's calling itself a session IPA, so I think it's underselling itself to be honest with you. So yeah, so I picked this up from the local, um, expensive but very nice sort of you know vegan, vegetarian sort of health food shop, which does some really nice stuff. You know, I'm not a vegetarian, but. It's a really nice shop. Picked up that and some of the uh, bits and pieces. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's a pretty cool, cool bottle. Uh, what does it say on the, uh, it's on the side? Not a lot. Doesn't actually say what hops are in it, does it? Just says superior quality. I'll be the judge of that. So let's get into glass and see. The aggressive pour, that's how I like to do it. Uh, get some of the gas out of it. It's rare that I'll review a bottle beer. I normally tend to go, you know, normally the stuff I go for is craft, uh, is canned. Um, so what we got, so it's pretty, it's like a standard sort of pale ale to be honest. It's not very hazy. Certainly no oats or wheat in that. Um, on the nose, to be honest with you, if you hadn't told me different, I'd say that was a lager. I'm getting sweet, sort of lager hop, SARS, SARS, S A A Z, I think you pronounce it. I'm not really getting any, maybe a bit of English hoppage in there as well. Maybe a little bit of fuggles, I don't know, I'm just guessing, to be honest with you. Yeah, so it, it's certainly not um, my standard sort of, you know, hoppy, hoppy IPA type stuff. Um, but let's 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 dive in, chin chin. Okay, so it's not a lager. It's more like an English pale ale. It's really quaffable, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's none. Well, I'm used to just normally just getting, woof, you know, sort of New World, sort of American hops type, uh, and there's none of that. So I'm not really used to drinking drinking much English ale style. So it's a bit underwhelming to be honest with you compared to what I'm used to drinking. But it's nice, it's it's sort of thing, you know, on a sort of not as it's been today, it's been beautiful um weather today. We've been out and about, we've been up Glastonbury tour, in all the sort of you know, the hippie crystal shops that we have on the high street, that sort of thing. Um I'm gonna say Glastonbury, sorry for those of you that not so we're not actually at the festival. Which is obviously the case if you because we're currently uh, I'm currently filming this at the end of March, uh, and the festival's in June. Glastonbury, the town centre, um, and it is the hippiest <laughs> place certainly in the country, possibly the planet. I don't know. Um, it's literally an entire high street of crystal shops, shamanic healers, um, cafes, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's it's a nice vibe. Anyway, sorry about that. Back to the beer. Not a lot to say about it. It's English pale. Um, there's not really anything front. Sort of sweetish, light bodied. At the end of it, there is a sort of yeah, almost like a lager hop type bitterness at the end. But. To be honest with you, my, my palate is just so battered from drinking West Coast, um, East Coast, mountain IPAs, 
with ridiculous levels of hoppage. I'm, I'm not. I, I can't. I'm not really best qualified to talk about this. Rating. I think two ratings. So for me, me and myself, I would give this four and a half five. I wouldn't buy it again. So it doesn't meet the six rating, which means I'd buy it again. I'm not going to buy this again. It's pretty underwhelming. But as an English pale ale. You know, you're sitting outside, nice sort of, you know, nice day, nice British pub. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd probably go for that again. In which case, I'd probably give that a six, just about. So yeah, um, let's go for benefit of the doubt because the label's pretty cool. Six out of ten for Voodoo. 4.8 pale session IPA, but like I say, I think they're underselling themselves there because 4.8 is uh, not really what I would call um, a session. It's got Glastonbury Craft, so I'm assuming that's the label. Mm, yeah, it's not crafted. When you say craft, you, to me anyway, you think ridiculously level, level, level hops IPAs. Big stouts, that sort of thing. Which this isn't, but hey ho. Um, it's alright, yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Cheers.